this is the last lecture for today. Now, finally, the Barnabas invited Paul to Antioch Church. Okay, that was about here about seven years after uh, in Tarsus. About seven years after in Tarsus. Uh, that is uh, A.D. 45. A.D. 45, how old Paul was? 40 years old. Paul was 40 years old at the time. Okay. How many years after his conversion? 10 years after his conversion. So he was converted at the age of 30, and 10 years Okay, after his conversion, 10 years, which is 45, when he was 40 years old, finally, Holy Spirit, in his time, sent Barnabas to invite Paul to the church of Antioch for a full-time minister. That's the beginning do you know, you know that Paul confessed in, in Galatians 1.15, he said that I was ordained as a pastor and missionary when I was in my mother's womb. Okay. That was Galatians, Galatians 1.15. But he was ordained when he was in the mother's womb, but God had spent first 30 years okay, as a man who, who were against Jesus Christ. That was God's providence. Okay? After he met Jesus at the age of 30, he trained Paul for 10 years uh, before calling for full-time ministry. Isn't it awesome? Okay? That applies to your life and my life and those who are watching uh, these teachings, listening to these teachings. God will apply this principle to your life, like here we have found in the life of Paul. Okay, now when time comes, when he was 40 years old in the year 45, God addressed to Barnabas to go to Tarsus. Okay, Tarsus. And you invite Saul to your church, Antioch. Now, Paul still remember, the Barnabas still remember Paul. When was it? Okay. When he visited in 38, visited Jerusalem. Remember that? Three years after Arabia, Paul went to visit where? Jerusalem. That was 38. Okay, and introduced Peter and James, and so on. Now he knew Barnabas sent him to where? To Tarsus. In order to avoid okay, his death. So Barnabas knew where Paul is. Okay, he knew that. So seven years later, Jesus told Barnabas, you go and invite him. Here, in AD 45, Barnabas went to Tarsus to meet Saul, to invite Saul for full-time ministry. That is recorded here in Acts 11, verse 26. 
Acts 11, it's not my story. I just pick up all this information from the book of the Bible. Here, now, Saul accepted his invitation. Saul became a full-time junior assistant pastor. Means he was the lowest position among the pastors. He was a junior assistant pastor. That was God's way of handling his servants. Okay? Not inviting him as a full-time senior pastor. Okay? Put him in a very low position. Okay? Starting from the bottom. Then climb up to step by step. That's the way of God handling his servant. Now, Prior to Saul's visit Antioch Church, there were four pastors already, full-time pastors already there in the church. Their names are recorded. Their names are recorded here, Acts 13.1. Senior pastor Barnabas. How we know? Because his name comes the first, senior pastor. And founder of the church was Simeon of Cyrene. Cyrene, okay. Now, where is Cyrene? Cyrene is right here. Today is Libya. Cyrene is Egypt. Adjacent to Egypt is Cyrene. Today is Libya. Okay, now it happens to this Simeon also was diaspora Jews. His parents, his family lived in Cyrene, Libya. You know, this man and his family was very uh, faithful in Judaism. So every Passover okay, festival, he had to visit Jerusalem to observe the seven feasts, Passover and all these seven feasts. Okay? Now this man, he was a faithful Judaism believer and practitioner arrived here in Jerusalem during the time of Passover. That Passover time was the time of Jesus' crucifixion. Okay? That happens to be the same. So he saw Jesus is carrying, Jesus was carrying the cross. By the will of God, by the providence of God, this man took Roman soldier, gave him the cross of Jesus. So he was, he was carrying the Jesus' cross. Later he became here a member of 120 members in Upper Rome. Okay? And he was one of the founders of the Jerusalem Church. Upon the disbursement, disbursement of the church, uh, Jerusalem Church by Paul, by Paul and Saul, this man he went all the way. Simeon went all the way to Antioch, and he he planted a church, Antioch Church. That's why. We call him, he is the founder of the Antioch Church. But he gave up his senior position job to who? Barnabas. Barnabas. Such a humble man. Okay. Now, this Simeon was a founder. And his friends, Lucius, Assistant pastor, same, came from Cyrene. 
Okay? And also, another assistant pastor is Mana N. This man came from royal family. He was adopted as a, a child of a Herod. Okay, you know Herod. Okay? He's a tetrarch. He was a governor. Governor's family, a, a adopted child. This man is a Manayan. So, it, who happened to be a, a converted Christians here? Joining the Antioch church along with this Simeon. So he's a member of the Simeon uh, ministries over here. Simeon, Lucius, and Manaen. These four people. Okay, here. Saul joined them as a, okay, under their leadership as a number five member. So I put down here, junior assistant pastor. Junior. Here, because his name located, placed in the last out of five. In Acts 13, chapter 13, verse 1, it said, five leaders' name and the soul's name placed in the last out of these five. Now, these five leaders, okay, they worship together and fasting under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. All of a sudden, Holy Spirit commanded them in their uh, worship and fasting. And you, five of you, you separate for me, Jesus said, for me, for me, not for you. You separate for me the Barnabas and Saul, the senior pastor and junior assistant pastor. These two people, two persons, separate them for the work of t to which I have called them. Over here, Acts chapter 13, verses 2 and 3 said that. Okay. They have a special job to do. So you separate them. Okay? Which they did. And they pray and worship and try to obey what the Holy Spirit commanded. Then they agreed that, wow, this is the Word of God, okay, inspired uh, to all of our five pastors. So under the leadership of this Simeon, Simeon, okay, they, they separated Barnabas and Saul and let them kneel down on the floor and they lay their hands upon these two men, okay, and ordain them as a missionaries. Ordain them as a missionaries. In Acts chapter 13, verse 3. See? God's plan, okay, in the life of Paul, now is starting as a missionary job. So it is the uh, beginning of Paul's actual mission work uh, story. I will continue next week now the first missionary trip stories. Okay, and the, all the uh, stories and implications okay, out of all those stories. Okay, we will discuss uh, next week about this. Okay? Now, this is the end of first part of Paul's life. Early part of the Paul's life. 
hope that you would all understand this system, okay? Then you share with your church members. Then we will, from this, we will build up next building. Next building, okay? Such, I call it, first missionary journey of Paul and Barnabas, and Barnabas and Paul story, which comes next lessons. May God bless all of you. Amen.